They look good, they're comfy. I'm pretty happy with my purchase. Hey, what's up, Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how to's. Today I have one of my favorite collabs back for another video, and that would be Grace Gift Taiwan, which makes super cute women's fashion, especially shoes, and they also have some clothing items as well as accessories. So Grace Gift is Taiwan based. I have done a tutorial about how to purchase items from Grace Gift and walked you through how to use their website on a previous video. So if I remember, I'll put a card up here so you can click on that if you've never ordered from Grace Gift. I think the biggest question I always see about Grace Gift is, why are their shoes hundreds of dollars? They're actually not. They're usually around 50 or 60 USD, but their website prices everything in New Taiwan dollars. So if you see NT and a dollar sign, that's New Taiwan dollars. Grace Gift now gives you the option to change to USD up on the top header. So if you go to the website and you click on the top header where it gives you different denominations, you can change that to whatever your local denomination is. And that way you can actually get a good idea of how much your entire package will cost when you order from them. And yes, they do ship to overseas addresses. However, customs and taxes may vary when those get shipped into your country. Since I'm in the US, I have never had to pay any customs or duties taxes on these imports, but you might. So keep that in mind whenever you order from international addresses. So I just placed this order like two weeks ago and they already shipped it and everything arrived just fine. This includes Grace Gift's newest line of summer 2021 Sailor Moon Crystal collection and collaboration items, as well as a couple of items from their previous collection. I didn't purchase anything from the previous collection, so I did end up purchasing a couple of items from that, and I just lumped them all together into one big box. So I have two shirts, a purse, and two pairs of shoes that I can show you and give you some takes about how they fit and the comfort and how the quality is for these different accessories. I'll go ahead and start with the shirts. So I got a Sailor Moon Crystal Moon Brooch Ribbon Fluffy Knitted Sweater, which costs New Taiwan dollars eleven fifty two, and I got a large. I also got the brooch knitted sweater in gray. That one was a large as well, and that one also cost New Taiwan dollars eleven fifty two. Obviously, it is summer here. I'm not gonna wear these out because it's way too hot. But I figured I do live in Denver, so I wanted to get these while they were in stock, so that I could try them on and see if they fit. And I have plenty of time until the snow comes again. I mean, hopefully, it is Denver. We had snow in May, so. You never know. So I will start with this fluffy knitted sweater. This one features Sailor Moon's compact in the front and it looks like it's knitted in navy. It's a really pretty cream color. And this is a fluffy sweater. It feels really nice and thick. It feels like it's a good quality. I don't see any loose strings or anything like that. The neckline looks a little bit small, so I wasn't expecting a scoop neck or anything, but this is like a t-shirt neckline. It looks like it'll fit just fine. So I'm gonna try this on and I will let you know what it looks like when I'm wearing it. So I do have a t-shirt on underneath this, so it's a little bit frumpy down at the bottom, but this one does fit a little bit tighter around here. It accentuates my curves a little bit more. However, the sleeves are still pretty big on these ones, but they are the perfect length. I also got this gray knitted sweater. Now this one features nothing on the front, so it's just plain gray. On the back, we have this lovely print that says Sailor Moon, and then we also have her compact down here at the bottom. And it's a really nice soft knit, so it doesn't feel like it'll be scratchy or anything like that, which is good. So I will try this one on too and let you know what I think of it. Honestly, I think I could have gone with a smaller size for this. I did get a large because I wasn't sure if it would fit me or not. And it's definitely a little slouchy, a little too big for me in the arms and a little too wide for me, but it does have a really nice fit. And I feel like this is gonna be really comfortable in the winter time. I'm saving the shoes for last. So you gotta wait. Now, usually Grace Gift does offer some kind of bonus item whenever you order from them, especially with these new collections. They didn't have anything like that this year. I don't know if they were trying to save money or they just didn't have anything ready. Maybe they wanted to produce something, I don't know. But we didn't get any freebies this time. Okay, this next item is the Sailor Moon Crystal Collection Sailor Moon Casual Canvas Bag, strap included. And this was new Taiwan dollars of $699. 
nine. So this is the strap for the bag. It features basically the same print that you would find on Sailor Moon's Fuku, and it is adjustable, which is nice. It's like a belt strap. It's nice, thick quality, which is also good. And this is the purse. Isn't that cute? I like it. I think it's adorable. So on the front of it, we do have an embroidery compact and it does say Sailor Moon Crystal. There's also a small little pocket on the front. This is a canvas material, so it's not leather or anything like that. There is a magnetic clasp on the inside, so you can unclasp or clasp it quite easily. These are loops for your shoulder straps. There's also two pockets on the interior. So we have one pocket in the back with a little Grace Gift logo. We also have a side pocket, which would be perfect for a cell phone. I wanted to get this bag specifically because it's very wide. So it does have quite a bit of room in there for fitting like all of my keys and my wallet and all that good stuff. So I could definitely take this out with me when I'm going shopping. Usually I go shopping with like my Samantha Vega bags, but if I don't feel like pulling out one of the fancy bags and I want something that'll last in the rain, for example, I mean, this is canvas after all, this would definitely be an option. So that is what it looks like when you put the strap on it. It's cute. I like it. Okay, onto the shoes onto the shoes. All right, so Grace Gift shoes are pretty accurate when it comes to sizing. I have noticed over time because my, my feet are kind of tall and a little bit wide, just very slightly wide, I can usually get by if I order regular narrow shoes, but if I size up one size or like a half size over my usual sizing, which is a size eight, then they fit a lot more comfortably. If I feel that they are too loose at the front or back, I'll just add some Dr. Scholl's and they fit perfect. Or at that point, I can tighten the laces if laces are included in a pair of shoes, and then they fit a lot better. So definitely measure your feet if you do choose to purchase from Grace Gift and go buy their sizing measurements on their website because you will definitely buy the items that are perfect for your feet. The few times that I've gotten unlucky and purchased a pair of shoes that didn't necessarily fit my feet, it was pretty easy to resell the Grace Gift shoes, especially if I had never worn them out and they were in brand new condition. So I'm usually able to get my money back by just reselling them to another collector. And that's super useful too, because a lot of times these shoes do sell out from Grace Gift and it's hard to know whether or not they will restock ever. I mean, there was one time that they had these really cool looking shiny Sailor Moon boots that they only had for like a split second and then nobody was able to get them. We don't know what happened. I don't know anybody that was able to get these boots but they never restocked them. So we don't know, were they ever gonna come back? I, we never saw them again. So I got two pairs of shoes. First, I got the Sailor Moon Star Brooch Buckle Sneaker in cream white. These are a size 41 in Taiwan sizes, which is about a size 8.5. And these were new Taiwan dollars, 17.82. I also got the Luna Embroidery Sneaker in black, also a size 41, and this costs New Taiwan Dollar $16.02. So I'm actually gonna show you a close-up of me wearing these, but I also wanted to show you what they look like close up on camera so you can see the quality of how these came out. By the way, do you like my new B-roll backdrop? I love this, I think it's so pretty. And I think this is my favorite. I ended up buying like four different materials from Joann's Fabrics. And I think these are my favorite fabrics. It's so cute. Okay, so first we have the Sailor Moon Brooch Buckle Sneaker. So there is a really cute little sneaker buckle on the front. If I tap on it, you can kind of hear what it sounds like. Good quality. We have a very sparkly compact brooch. It is stuck on the laces, but of course, if you don't like it, you can always remove this. The laces are your general quality. This is not real leather, but it looks like it. So very pretty, really nice condition. I feel like they could have tightened the fabric on the sides a little bit so you didn't have those wrinkles. This is a rubber sole. It's really easy to walk around in and this is a very, very comfortable fit. The back of this has a cute little collar like Sailor Moon's outfit and it does flap up a little bit if you want it there, but it sticks there pretty well. On the inside on the tongue, we have an image of Sailor Moon and a crescent moon and it says Sailor Moon Crystal. And then 
That's what the sole looks like. There's not a lot of cushion on the inside of these, but there is a little bit of arch support. So I did want to mention that there's a little bit of an arch on the inside of these, and that does help with the fit. It makes them feel pretty comfortable. Okay, moving on to the Luna sneakers. These ones have a really cute kind of a skater look to them. I really like that as somebody who used to do some skateboarding when I was a teenager. Nothing exciting on the bottom. Again, these are a rubber bottom, so definitely really good for grip. I feel like they could have printed something here, but there's nothing there. Pretty plain overall. Uh, these are glued. They are not sewn, so they may come undone over time. Same kind of laces, a little less thick. And there is an embroidery logo on the tongue. It says Sailor Moon Crystal with the Crescent Moon. On the other one, we have Luna, and it says Sailor Moon Crystal. Really cute. This feels like the exact same sole that's in the other shoes. So these feel almost exactly identical. So I'm gonna put these on, let you know what I think, and I will be right back. These fit really good. They're really comfortable. They don't slide around. Tons of wiggle room in the toe box. These are nice, I like them. These are really cool sneakers. All right, here we have sneakers number two. Lots of room in the toe box again. I probably could have sized down, but I'm glad I got the size that I did. They're very comfy and roomy. A Little bit harder to put on, so I undid the laces all the way to here in order to give myself plenty of room to put them on, to slide my feet in. I don't think either of these are gonna give me any blisters. I would definitely recommend wearing some no-show socks with them because the insides, they aren't very breathable, so they'd probably make your feet really sweaty. But overall, I think they're nice. They look really good. They look good, they're comfy. I'm pretty happy with my purchase. Let me know what you guys think down below.